Humans have a very old and very dependent relationship with honeybees. They help pollinate a majority of our crops, and they also produce a very popular cooking ingredient, honey. But have you ever taken the time to notice the ongoing war these little striped insects have been engaged in for centuries? Meet the European honeybee, also known as Apis mellifera. These little guys are the most common of the 20 species of honeybees on our planet. They can be found on every single continent, excluding Antarctica, and they are very hard little workers. A majority of bee farmers prefer using the European honeybee due to their high productivity. However, for beekeepers in Japan and other parts of Asia, European honeybees may not be the best option. In the Japanese countryside exists the largest species of hornet currently known to man, the Vespa mandarinia japonica, also called the Japanese giant hornet or Asian giant hornet. These giants often grow to be over 4 centimeters in body length, with a 6 centimeter wingspan. Their stinger alone range from 5 to 6 millimeters long. The problem beekeepers have with these hornets is the fact that these brutes specialize in destroying honeybee hives. Oftentimes, a giant hornet scout will find a hive and leave a pheromone trail for her comrades to follow. A single hornet can take down 40 honeybees per minute, and it only takes 30 hornets to bring down a hive of 30,000. The hornets raid honeybee hives not for honey, but for the grubs, who can serve as a great food source for the hornet's own young. European honeybees have no way of fighting back against their giant enemies. Their best method is to simply throw themselves onto their adversaries, most often resulting in their own demise. Luckily for beekeepers in Japan, there is another option. Meet the Japanese honeybee, also known as Apis serrana japonica. These little guys may not be as productive as their western cousins, but they do have one major advantage over the European honeybee. They have a defense mechanism against Japanese hornets. Japanese honeybees have the tactical advantage evolutionary-wise because they were able to evolve alongside their enemies, whereas the European honeybees just didn't have this luxury. As a result, the Japanese honeybee has devised an interesting way of dealing with unwanted trespassers. When the Japanese honeybee hive notices a hornet scout, they will usually stay away from it and act as if it is not there. However, once the hornet lets its guard down, hundreds of bees will throw themselves onto the hornet, forming a large ball with the hornet in the middle, unable to move properly. Japanese honeybees will then start vibrating their flight muscles. This raises the temperature at the center of the ball to around 47 degrees Celsius and will also increase the CO2 levels. Japanese honeybees can tolerate a temperature of around 50 degrees Celsius at that specific carbon dioxide level, but the hornet can only tolerate around 46 degrees Celsius. In the end, the hornet gets cooked alive. This prevents the scout from alerting their hive and thus protects the Japanese honeybee colony from a potential invasion.